is wrong. This is wrong. It's not a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. No, it's not a not. thing. <laughs> Who and Chance? We just checked out the new trailer, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Chance, talk to him, man. What do you What do you think? What do you, What are you feeling? What do you like? Uh, this is actually my first time seeing a trailer. Just fresh in my head uh, from what I've seen. I liked it. I was already a huge fan of the chemistry between uh, Bucky and Falcon. So I am excited to see where they take that chemistry in the back and forth. Friendly banter. I always enjoyed that. My one of my two of my favorite movies out the whole twenty three Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, Civil War and Winter Soldier. So now to see Winter Soldier and Falcon together, as a show I'm looking forward to seeing now. Because now you're right. in the things that I've wanted to see anyway. I've seen Winter Soldier and the things I liked about these movies, they were really grounded. They didn't need superpowers. Well, Winter Soldier didn't. Civil War had a lot of it, but uh, with the soldier, the any it was the first I think spy thriller Marvel really delved into. They never really did that before. They always relied on the the graphics, the superpowers. With the soldier was more or less hand to hand combat, you know, guns. This was something different they tried, and I think it worked beautifully. And now I think that's why the series is going to piggyback off of that. You see that the villain is Baron Zemo. They did him semi justice to me. What he did was smart. He set them the heroes against each other. So that, you know, he's the one who pretty much started the Civil War. See, they spoke a lot about the mantle of Captain, of Captain America. It seemed pretty decided at the end of Endgame, but now it kind of seems like I see at some point both of them throwing the shield. So I, I'd like to see how that's where they're going to go with that and how they're going to, uh, because it was split down the middle of the thing. Some fans think Falcon deserved the shield. Some fans didn't. I'll be quite honest with you. In my personal opinion, I wasn't, I didn't think Falcon was fully deserving of the shield. Uh... I mean, Black Power, like Black Crap in America, cool uh, on that end. But on the other hand, he just met him in uh, the Winter Soldier movie. Bucky Barnes was with him from the beginning. Like, that was his best friend. That was, you know, they, they have so much more chemistry. He felt, I felt like he was way more deserving. I felt like he earned that way more than uh, Falcon did. Right. And in the comics, I know they both became Captain America at some point, but it just makes more sense to me that Bucky become the new Captain America because he had to he, he committed a lot of sins, a lot of things he wasn't proud of. You know, he killed Iron Man's parents and a dozen other people. So I feel like he really deserved that comeback. Like this is who I am now. This is I, this, I like I'm no longer with the soldier. So you know I will I'll take on a mantle for him. So I wasn't I was a little uns unsure that why he chose uh Falcons. Overall this is what that's I think is gonna be a really good series. I agree man and you know what to touch up on what you just said uh going into the black Captain America of it. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where they take it because part of what I'm seeing is, remember in the new trailer, we saw the Flag Smashers. That's kind of like the anti-organizational uh, group that's trying to right take over and, 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 and cause havoc. I think they might actually be working with Zemo. But the thing also to note is what the Falcon says, right? The Falcon actually says, oh, the, the Flag Smashers are too strong. Like they're strong, but they're too strong. And you see them ripping through people, kicking them crazy. like. So that might actually be a hint to the super soldier serum. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? The, the thing that actually gave Captain America his powers. And so now we can actually be getting into the history of that. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, you remember in, in Captain America, uh, Dr. Erskine, right? Dr. Erskine was the guy that recruited him, but he was also the guy that created the, the serum. Yeah, so yeah. he gave him the A1. He actually allowed him to get into the army, but he also gave him the shot. That serum or that process to create super soldiers is actually what, what, what they might be developing in the sense that, well, Captain America got the purest form and in return, so did Winter Soldier, but they weren't the only ones that got super soldier processes, right? So maybe the big bad might've got their hands on, hands on the super soldier serum. You know what I mean? Or the process to create this. Because, you know, you got to figure it like this. Once Dr. Erskine died, the U.S. was still trying to come up with super soldiers. He's still trying to use this process. You right. I mean? They continue trying to experiment, hoping to recreate the process, right? That's how you get people like Luke Cage. Remember in the Luke Cage show? Uh, yeah. When he was in jail and they were doing experiments on him, that's how he got the superpowers? Like, that was actually the bursting uh, experiment. But that was all stemmed from the initial Captain America. So basically what we're getting is, there's been several other iterations of them trying to make super soldiers where we got Luke Cage, where we got people like Bushmaster, where we got people like Taskmaster, where you get uh, Wolverine. You've gotten different people that have taken some sort of process to make them stronger, faster, better. You know, that could be our leg into that. So you think these are all connected in some kind of way? I'm or hoping so. I'm In the sense that I'm hoping so and connected in the sense, okay, so let's take it back a little bit from, we got Thunderbolt Ross in this, right? Thunderbolt Ross has been 
He was the guy, you know, saying, okay, we got to get these Sokovia Accords. We got to get you guys in, in check, right? He's Isn't the guy he that's kind Red of, Hulk? He's Red Hulk. That's a fact. And so he, he also creates, like, the, the Thunderbolts. That's like the – they're supposed to be, like, superheroes, but they're kind of like, you know, they're kind of like mischievous. They're kind of like – right? Kind of like the Marvel version of Suicide Squad. Kind of, yeah. They're kind of like they're not great guys, but they, you know what I mean. But they operate under the guise of being superheroes and being helpful, right? So in this in this series, what we could see is a battle for the Captain America identity, as it were, right? Whether it be uh, Bucky who gets it, whether it be Falcon who gets it, or whether it be like you see the, the clips of this new guy. We don't know who this guy is, right? But this yeah. is who they're trying to put into the mantle of Captain America. Who's to say? They might have shot him up with the prize of the super soldier process and tried yeah. to get him to be the new guy. Maybe the key to it is really fighting for that Captain America uh, mantle because I hope we see black Captain America. And not just, you know, black Captain America as Falcon. No, I want to see Eli Bradley, that character. You know, mm -hmm. the whole story of, you know, after Erskine's uh, projects were going awry, Erskine died. The U.S. wanted to keep experimenting. So they took 200 black soldiers, 300 black soldiers, experimented on them until they got the, the right. So they basically created the black Captain America in that way. So that, that's a whole great plot. Imagine we see that in this show kind of this guy talking about how he was in the army. They experimented on him. and He became like the not the first, but a black Captain America before many of these other ones. So let me ask you, do you feel like Falcon deserved the shield? So when it comes to the shield for me, I feel like that's property. At the end of the day, even when uh like Iron Man says like, "Yo, my dad made that." It's not, it's not even yours. Like I make agree. Like in the context of this, like that's not Captain America's. Captain America is a idea. If we really want to think about it, Captain America is a is a mantle. It's a position, right? It's, it's almost like Black Panther. Like Black Panther is not that one person. It's a mantle you step up to. So right. like, for me, it's not even about like who's more worthy of a. If we could have that conversation, but it's really just about. It's the same reason why Erskine gave him the powers to be Captain America, right? He was like, listen, I don't want to kill Nazis. I don't want to kill anybody. I want to stand up the bullies. I want to do what's right. So, mm -hmm. like, that's really what the mantle is supposed to represent. So whoever can do that best, whether it be Bucky, you know, in the course of the, the cinematic universe, he might not be the best character to hold that mantle right now of hope and being pure or whatever. Why, but, you know what I mean? This is why, more or less, I feel like him getting the mantle, as it, as it was, not even a shield, the mantle, I feel like he deserves that because it would be a great redemption story for him. You know, his life wasn't in his hands pretty much the entire time. The In, in the, every movie we've seen him in, he was always broke up somebody. The only time he got to actually fight for the for the right reasons was Infinity Wars. Other than that, he's you know he's just been a a, a Russian soldier. Uh, you know, yeah, always somebody else's machine yeah. that be wielded. Yeah, the Winter Soldier was a mantle given to him because he worked for them. So I feel like that have been a good time for him to shave that mantle. But like you said, maybe they are setting up this redemption arc. So you look at it like how many categories or how many people do we have that can be Captain America? Like you said, we have Bucky. You know what I mean? Who has a whole arc that he can redeem. We have Falcon. You know what I mean? And somebody has been kind of like his second hand, kind of looked up to this guy, kind of learned something, right? And now you have this new player, this guy that Thunderbolt and the, and the government's putting up. You got to understand the world, too. Think about it like this, the world that, that this, the, this scene is in now. Like, five years, you know, it's been a blip. People have been living in a stray. Five years later, people come back. People are looking for leadership. You right. might not trust the, the superheroes, right? If this is after Spider-Man, it's right, the Spider-Man movie, when Spider-Man's been outed, you might not trust the superheroes, right? right. You just seen Spider-Man commit a murder. You you think he caught a body. So in the eyes of that now, you might look at this new Captain America, the one the government's putting up as, oh, this is the guy to believe in. Even us as fans, as Marvel fans, is one thing, but if I lived in this world, maybe I'm going, you know what, yeah, I don't like that Winter Soldier guy. I don't like that. And so now they've crafted a world where you can make these new other no-names the mm -hmm. new captain take the mantle as it were. So this and could just be a fight for the man, fight for the cow, like Batman. Right. Fight for yeah. the mantle. It is like you have the two heroes, the two leaders of the Avengers, which have been Captain America and then Iron Man. The two leaders are both gone. They gone. Iron Man's dead. Captain America is is, is living his life as an old man now. Right. So these are the familiar names. These two big figures that household names are now gone. So now it's like you say. Now you have, if you're looking at the universe, you have Wanda tripping, you know, changing, uh, changing things the way she is. She, you know, she's an enemy now, like seem like a terrorist. You have now the White Vision, who now was created by the government, but he's clearly going to turn on him because he got his memories back. So it's like everything Avenger related is going against the society. Right. And now you have 
Winter Soldier, who's been an assassin for over, almost 100 years, now is going to be our hero. Like you said, the world right now is in a, in a disarray. And it might be a situation where, you know, we don't trust any of those Avengers guys. Look what they did. Look what they caused, right? And, and in that, they birthed the idea where let the government give you your superheroes. You know what I mean? And so now, uh, you know, go back to Abomination and the Hulk. Remember those old, uh, not so good Hulk moves, right? Incredible Hulk. Ross was in those as well, though. Um, yeah. There's a scene where, you know, he took out the vial. It said Stark on it. And it said Dr. Robinstein. That was him trying to give that to Abomination. It's kind of like a cutscene, But... I remember. Again, that's building the history out. Well, why would Stark be making that? Because Stark was making this in Erskine, right? So Stark's been in the business of trying to make these super soldiers. So I just think what we're going to have now is, like like you said, you got these two guys that have been there day one, been rocking, been superheroes, but no one might trust them. They kind of have a trust issue, right, with these two characters. Now you have these new characters that say, don't worry, put it on us. Thunderbolt Ross might have a, you know, he might have a, a situation where he brings up the Thunderbolts, that whole scene. The superheroes that the government backs. He was trying to do this since the Sokovia Accords. He was right. doing that since um then because that was the whole point of trying to get the heroes under control under the government. Right. And that's the whole reason why Captain America went off and made his uh, separate Avengers and you know he stopped working for them. And that was the whole point. He wanted the Avengers to work under them. I right. can't do anything unless we tell you to. We tell you not to go there. You can't go there. Right. And, and look how many countries signed. I think 111 countries signed it. So. That's what they're the goal. That was the that's what they wanted them to just take over. Right. So, like I said, who's to say how it'll play into this series now? Right. My hopes, at least for it, is that they open up the Weapons Plus program and that whole Super Soldier thing. Because the Super Soldier thing is just the Weapons Plus program, right? Like they've had uh, Weapon X. Everybody knows Weapon X, right? We know Weapon X. That's that's Wolverine. But w Weapon X is only Weapon Ten, right? There's Weapon One to Ten, uh, maybe Weapon One to Twelve, but Weapon One was Captain America, right? With Erskine's uh, thing, right? Five with the symbiotes, when they were using symbiotes to actually make symbiotic soldiers, right? The Venom symbiote. Weapon six was Luke Cage. So it's like, there have been several iterations of the US government just trying to perfect and reproduce what they had with Captain America. And hopefully they start bringing that out because that's how you get to Wolverine. That's how you get to uh, bringing in Luke Cage, Bushmaster, Taskmaster. You could literally say Taskmaster went through something like that. And Taskmaster we know is in uh, Black Widow. So my hopes here is we get part of that Super Soldier Weapons Plus thing. And yeah, give me Black, give me Black uh, Captain America. And not, uh, what's my man? Shout out to him. Not him. Not, not, Falcon. <laughs> not Falcon. No, give me the not, actual not Papa because, and I only say this to say this. Give me Eli Bradley because there's so much history there uh, that you could build up for the Black community. Like, we're very knowledgeable of, of a lot of things that's happened to us as Black people. Tuskegee experiments, these type of things where the government has overstepped and disrespected people of color. So you can actually touch on that in this story by saying, hey, I was a soldier. The government took, the U.S. Army took 200 of us, did this, only three of us made it out. That's a nice story beat they could touch in and and, and kind of put in. So what, what about you? What do you think, or what do you hope could be in this, this follow-up, this Falcon and Winter Soldier joint? Well, I like your idea. I, um, that would be pretty dope to see that, you know, uh, I mean, of course, I'd uh, love to see uh, Black people work. <laughs> uh, but I was really excited to see the, the banter, the back and forth. The I always loved their chemistry. The buddiness of it, yeah. Yeah, you know, so Anthony Mackie and after, uh, Sebastian Stan, I believe their names are. You know, I just love the, I just loved their banter back from uh, when they was arguing over fighting Spider-Man. Right, and, right, right. <laughs> So I just always enjoyed the energy, even though when Captain America was kissing Sharon Rogers and right, they right, right. We're in the car. Yeah. Like just them, them two together, I could see why they got a show. Like I'm not I'm not surprised at all that they did. Right. Like when I, when I heard solid, they was announcing it, I was like banter. Yeah, I was like, of course. <laughs> like these two are funny. So yeah, I'm just excited to see that. Wishful thinking. I I do miss Captain America. I do. That's 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 what I grew up with. You know, from two thousand and what, ten when the movie came out. So uh, Chris Evans, I love him as an actor. So it will, you know, he will be missed in that sense. But you know, we must move on. In fact, we must move on, and and you know, not to say he's gone or that character or that part of the character is gone, but the, like we say, the mantle is still alive and well. And so when it comes to the mantle of it, um, that's what we have to to look forward to. Who's going to be the guy, or who's going to be the person to step in that position and hold the mantle up, um, and hold it up accurately? And truthfully, I want Winter Soldier to be Winter Soldier, and I want Falcon to be Falcon. I want a new character. I want an Eli Bradley. Give me a black Captain America. Give me, um, no, I said Eli Bradley. 
I met Isaiah Bradley. Eli Bradley is the Patriot. I don't know if you know. Eli Bradley's the Patriot. Yes. He might get the Patriot. And that might be the young That's guy, it. right? His grandfather was black, black Captain America, and now he's young Avengers. Patriot is Isaiah Bradley's grandson. He ends up saying he has the super soldier serum, but he really don't got no powers. And they keep him, the young Avengers keep him on the team because he's just such a good mind. He's like a good strategist, like Captain America was. But he truthfully don't have no powers. Kind of like Batman. Like, kind you know. of like a Batman, right? So it's like, they, you know, it's like that could be a dope story too. It's like we, we are getting to the point where they're going to give us Young Avengers, right? Uh, we got Stat, we got Ant Man's daughter, we got the two kids that just WandaVision is going to have when they get grown. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have characters that can give us, we have Spider Man, Young Avengers. So we have characters to give us that Young Avengers. This could be another piece. And in the Young Avengers, he was like the leader. Eli Bradley was Patriot. And he didn't, though he didn't have any real powers, he was like, you know, they respected him. He was, he was that guy. So best case scenario, this is a good dope story where we, you know, we get into more of the history of, of Captain America, you know, just expand the universe of Captain America for us and, and his impact on the world of, of MCU. Cool. We can get that. Part two to that, sir, is, you know, show me Weapons Plus, show me Black Captain America, show me the Patriot and give me a backdoor to uh, Wolverine. You know what? It brings up a point, too, that you that I want to know. What's the connection to the future? Like, okay, we had WandaVision. We know it's going to play into Dr. Strange's movie. How is Winter Soldier and Falcon going to play into the next movie as well? What are they building towards? I think so what's going to happen is, so we do have, you, did you hear we have Iron Wars coming out, right? Iron Wars would be like the, the series that has everybody fighting over Tony Stark's technology after he dies. Mm. Um, so this might lead into that, like just the government aspect and the militarized aspect of Tony Stark's weaponry and just what has happened uh, with the Avengers. But I hope that we do get into the Weapons Plus program of it all, because when you talk about the Weapons Plus program and the super soldier thing, that goes deep. That could get into Wolverine, because that's mm -hmm. Weapons X. That could get into uh, Deadpool, because he was a piece of, of, of super soldiers. That gets into Luke Cage and bringing that character back then. So there's a lot of characters. I can name at least 10 comic book characters Marvel has that have been given their power set from Super Soldier Serum or the Weapon X program. So, yeah, man, that could just be the back door to them creating that type of vibe. Well, I've heard Deadpool is rumored to pop up in one of these movies, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, like I said, they can do it. They, they, oh, own they can everything. do it. They own they everything. Do it. So, I, you know, I would, with Blade coming out too, by the way, I love to see how this version of Blade is gonna be, especially hearing that it's supposed to be PG-13. That's for another video. We now you read my mind, bro. It's another people look out for our video on that as well. But please, you want to have a blade and it be PG? <sighs> We're gonna make that video. Chance is right. We'll definitely come back with you with that. Wrap us on out. Tell them your final thoughts. And yeah, man. Final thoughts. Uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon is looking to be a great watch. It's uh, it it's the opposite version of WandaVision. WandaVision, you got your weird. Falcon and Winter Soldier, you're going to have your grounded. You're going to have your, you know. And you're going to have your action. It's going to be action-packed, action. man. Like because yeah. you know how my man Winter Soldier gets. Shoot, 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 shoot. You, saw the, you saw the part with the knife. Ooh. You saw, and then you see, first of all, Falcon has had that suit flying around for a while. First, he was like a pilot, right? His ability to maneuver. So that too, we're going to see a lot more fast-paced action. WandaVision kind of had like a slow a slow burn. Slow burn. This is going to run. This is, yeah. This Episode one is going to have action. They run. know they, they they know WandaVision was a slow burn, so they know. All right, let's 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 just delve right into it. That's how it was with Winter Soldiers. How it was with Civil War. So I expect to see action off the off the rip. If I could see anything like that one scene between Captain America fighting Bucky, with the whole throw the knife in the air, catch it, and if I could see anything like that, it's, <laughs> it's on the So it's in route. <laughs> my review exactly. of uh, the trailer, I'm gonna give it a give it an. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight just because I'm still bitter. But you know, Black Panther forever. You know what I'm saying? Wakanda life. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hope it builds the world. And I know it's gonna be dope. So yeah. That said, check out our next videos. We do have what? What do we have coming up? DC versus Marvel. This is we Marvel. Got up. We got yeah. a bunch of other stuff, but tap in, subscribe, follow. And that's that, man. Yeah.